Hi everybody, I'm Gabby and welcome back to Tailor Toned. You've made it to your 25 minute follow along bar class. There's going to be lots of shaking, lots of burning and lots of working really, really hard. If you're not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every single time it uploads a brand new workout. Okay, who's ready for this? It's going to be a great one. Let's get straight into the class. Bringing yourself up into a standing position. Let's do this. Feet come underneath your hips. Bring your hands into a prayer. Roll the shoulders back and down. Now squeeze those heels up and away from the floor. Lengthen through the body let's improve your posture as well today lower the heels down you're gonna step your feet wide in the hips take a bend through the knees incline the body forwards you're gonna track side to side with those hands in a prayer position so maybe take the eye line down towards the floor we're gonna be doing this for a little bit so you don't really need to watch me we go side side get right in towards those sides awakening your lower body Opening out the heart, squeezing your shoulders back and down behind yourself, just tracking side to side. Go seven, six, so you've got five, and four, you've got three, two, one. Bring yourself so you've got enough room to roll out. You're gonna draw, bring your chin into your chest, roll down through the spine, you're gonna walk your hands into a plank, you're gonna hold it for a second, and then walk back in again. Bend through the knees, roll yourself all the way up and away. Chin to the chest, roll it down. So it's like you're unwinding through the spine. And when you find the hold, the plank, live in that hold for a second and then walk back. Bend through the knees, roll it up, inhale. Exhale, you've got it, lift it up. One more, chin to chest. We roll it down and walk it out. Now hold, hands with the shoulders, extend those legs backwards. Now squeeze your inner thighs together. Squeeze your butt together as tight as you can. Now knit in those abs. Pull those abs up. You want to be drawing your belly button away from the floor. Squeeze everything in. Eye line between your fingertips. You're going to take a little rocket forwards. Rock it back. Rock it forwards. You've got it back. Two more. Forwards rock. Push it back, one more, we go, forwards rock. Now push it back and hold. Modification of this, drop down and towards your knees. So you're here for the modification the whole time. Now next up, we're gonna go down into a forearm plank. So dropping your left forearm to the floor, dropping your right forearm towards the floor. Let's tone up the waistline, pull those abs in. We're gonna go for some hip dips here. Your hips are gonna rock off towards the left side, back through center, other side. Rock them over, through center modification. You're just on the knees, rocking side to side. So if you want the modification, take a look at the screen now. You're just on the fleshy part of your knees, rocking it out side to side if you're in advancement. Keep those knees lifted. This is great for really conquering your waistline, trimming down the waist, getting you that hourglass figure, drawing those abs in. You've got two more, you can do this. We're in it together. Three cents, one more. Center and hold. Now rotate your left fingertips to your right elbow. You're gonna roll it round and reach this hand up to the ceiling. The hips are gonna go down, down, lift up. Go one, go two, squeeze and lift. Driving here, your right hip up to the ceiling, drop, lift it up. You've got it, modification of this. Underneath knee is down to the floor. Now don't forget this what might not be the only time you take this workout is I'm trying to say you can do this workout again. So if you want to do it modified today, amazing. As you get stronger, take more of my classes, lift it underneath the knee of the floor and push two more, go down and down, squeeze it, lift one more, go down and down, squeeze it, lift now back to the center, onto those forearms, building stabilizing strength through your shoulders, mobilizing those shoulders, trimming down the waist, working the side of your body, getting some lateral flexion. You're gonna rotate other side, right fingertips, left elbow. You're gonna roll it round, hand goes high. The modification underneath knee bends. We go for A, down, for two, squeeze it, lift. Go drop and drop, squeeze it, lift. Now push this left hip bone as high as you can, away from the floor, up to the ceiling, up to the sky. 
go push two more, go one, go two, squeeze it, lift, you've got to go down and down, squeeze it, lift, now hold there, glide your hip up to the ceiling, stay there, then let's do it, roll back onto your forearm plank, and I'm in this with you, I am feeling every burn, I'm feeling every second that you are in pain, is it pain, is it pleasure, because we're transforming our bodies, and then you're gonna go there, tap your left knee and right knee. Go tap and tap, alternate those knees. Do the blow, we go, tap. Let's get that heart rate up. Let's get into a calorie burning zone. How many calories can we burn today? How much fat can we melt? How much can we transform fat to muscle? Tap, tap, muscle burns more calories at resting than fat does. So let's change that fat to muscle. You've got eight more taps, seven, Six, you've got it. Five, child's pose in four, in three, in two, in one. Well done. Toes together, open through the knees, push the hips backwards, inhalation, exhalation. Slowly roll yourself up, hands go onto your thighs, shoulder roll around, shoulder roll around. Arm roll, arm roll again. Whew. Give everything a little shake off, come in towards a kneeling position. Knees underneath the hips, you're gonna reach those hands to the side and you're gonna to start to roll your shoulders up, round, back and down. Up, round, back and down. So the shoulders are coming forwards. <coughs> Sorry. The shoulders are coming forwards and rolling round behind yourself. So we're gonna burn out those arms today with no weight, it's gonna burn. You're gonna shake, but it's gonna be so good. When you get that burn and that shaking sensation, you are no, you know, you are doing so much good and you're transforming your body. So stick with the burn. Two more, we go. Up, round, back and hold. One more, up, round, back and hold. You guessed it, all the way. Round and squeeze. Now really, focus on those shoulders. You're building strength here in your upper back, in your deltoids, which is your shoulder muscles here. Shoulders are divided, your deltoids. You've got three sections to your deltoids, anterior, posterior, so front, back and middle. You're working all of them right now, so commit to it. Two more, we go, woo! Fours, one more. Now hold, little circles. Back with those arms, back. I know it burns. Commit to the burn, you've got it. It's just the burn. It's gonna be over in around about one minute. You can do that, one minute of anything. That is literally a minute amount of time to change your body. Improving your fitness, Improving your well-being. We go a little circle. Six, five, four, let's go. Three, opposite way in two, in one. I'm sorry, back and back. Little circles, round and round. Can you feel it? Yeah. If you felt the burn during this workout, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Give me a huge thumbs up on this video and say, oh my gosh, you be that burn. Little circles, round. You've got six and five, holding four. Woo! Three, two, oh, we go, Ben, reach. Ben, reach those arms, drawing those arms as long as you possibly can here. Ben, reach, Ben, reach, you are done. In 10, in nine, in eight, get those fingers as long as you can. Six, five, four, you've got three seat section in two, one. Woo! Well done. You're gonna now bring yourself down towards the floor. I want you to lower your left forearm to the floor, right hand pitches to the side. Then you're gonna send this leg backwards into a pretzel position, this is called in bar. So my hip here, it's open, it's externally rotated open. The toe is backwards, toe is higher than the knee. You're gonna squeeze it round for two, go squeeze, we go push back and back, we go squeeze round and round, we go push back and back. Now why do I love this position so much. I love this position because you are targeting your glutes, your booty, which is what this section's all about, but you're also getting into your hamstrings and you're also getting into your waistline. So those internal and external obliques that worked during those side planks, they're gonna work now as well. And they're gonna contribute to a brand new waist forming. We go round to the side, we're gonna get stronger, longer, leaner together. We go push back and back, let's do it. Three more of these to go. We go squeeze and squeeze, two more. Go round and round. We go push back and back. Go round and round. Now hold it back here. 
The knee is going to circle in the air and you're going to trace a clock with the knee as if the clock is going forwards in time. We go forwards with the knee, forwards with the knee. So it's like you're drawing a little circle in the air with the knee. It might feel a little bit weird at first. It's also hard with coordination, but imagine you're drawing a round a clock face with your knee. You're pushing the hand of the clock round forwards in time. So you're going forwards in time. Two more forwards in time, then we're gonna go back in time. One more, then you're gonna go back in time. Woo! Back in time. I know, back in time with the knee. So it might be hard to see what I'm doing here, but I'm basically just pushing those hands of the clock round back. Two more, round back, one more. Now hold it here, open the hip more. Can you glide the toe up to the ceiling? Now we're gonna go a little lift, little up, little squeeze and squeeze. So push the toe to the ceiling. So I'm not in an all fours position, I have my hip open. I have my hip open, my knee down, my toe high. That way I'll get into the side of my butt, my gluteus medius, my gluteus minimus, my piriformis, all those muscles in the side of your butt that sometimes we miss out when we go to the gym normally. You're gonna get into them. That's what's great about these turned out positions in bar. You're turned out so you get into all those muscles that you might not work in during the gym because you normally work in a parallel position. Little up, 15 more seconds, we go, squeeze and squeeze. Is your hip open? Is your knee lower than the toe? And is your toe pushing as heavy as the ceiling as you can? We go seven and six more pushes, five, go four, you've got three, two, one. Whew. Okay, flip it round. No time for a breather. Bring your right forearm down, your left hand to the side, pretzel this leg round, open the hip. Go round for two, go push and press. So every time you press back as well, I want you to drive. I'm gonna try and point now and take my hand off the floor. You keep the hand of the ball. So where the crease of your seat is, of your butt is, where the hamstring meets the glute, in that little crease, everyone wants a higher, more perkier bum. You need to push from there as you wrap here. Squeeze, squeeze. So push from the crease of your bum and that will contribute to lifting up your butt. We go round to the back. We go round to the side. We go push back for two. You've got it. Work the waistline. Pull those abs in. Squeeze your navel towards your spine, pressing down through that forearm. Plant the forearm in towards your mat. Working on that shoulder stability, shoulder stabilization. So pulling out of the shoulder girdle. Strengthening the upper body here as well. And the core as well is working your butt. We go two more here, round, go push and press. One more, go round and round. We go push back, now hold it. Let's go for that, round with the knee. Round with the knee. So you're drawing the knee around a clock face here. Woo, round. We go round, so if your butt hurts tomorrow, I guarantee this is probably what to do. We go around, so you're using those tiny, intricate muscles in your seat that don't normally get worked. We go around circle, unless this is like a daily thing that you do, wake up in the morning, you just do this move, <laughs> then you won't feel it. We go around and back, one more. Who's ready for the opposite way? Back and round, back and round. I know, it might be hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm really trying to describe it as well as I can. My hip is open, my knee is open, my toe is pushed round behind myself. You should feel it in the butt. If you can feel it in the lower back, you're doing it a little bit wrong. Keep that every more stabilized. One more. Round back, now hold. Little lift, lift. 45 seconds of this lift in action, can we do it? Woo! Of course we can. Lift, lift, keep the hip open. Pull those abs in. Who's on that route with me to a brand new body? Keep pushing through, lift, lift. 25 more seconds now. Imagine you've got a weight on your toe. Imagine you've got a shopping bag full of groceries, full of fun things you've brought from the shop and lift it up to the ceiling. It's like it's hanging on the edge of your toe and you're squeezing it up and up. You've got 10 more here, nine pushes, seven. Six more squeezes, five, you've got four. Three more booty work coming up in two, one. Woo. 
Lower yourself straight down onto your chest. Bring the hands in front of the head. Drop the head down to your hands. Then turn out through those legs. My favorite position at the minute, prone swimming. So you're gonna turn out through the hips. Tight hip flexors, turn the toes down to the floor. Turn out through those legs. Now lift, hold the legs up and away from the floor and drop it down for two. Lift, extend, low back down. Now I want everyone right now, switch off through the back, switch it off. You're not working your upper back here. You're working your booty and you're getting into that lower back as well. Down and down. You're working your hamstrings too. And I want you to lengthen through the knee joint. So sometimes when I edit this, I say every time, but my knees, they look bent. My knees, they aren't bent. My knee joints are long and my toes are pointed in plantar flexion. Plantar flexion pointed, dorsiflexion is a flex foot. Go drop and drop. We've got two more here, lift. Take it down and down. One more, go lift. Now hold it. You're gonna start to swim through the sea. Go change, change, change. Change those legs behind yourself. Again, lengthen through the knee. The more you can turn out through the legs, the more you're gonna work into the outside and the top of your butt, like a two in one. But if you've got tight hip flexors, tight hips, any hip mobility issues, turn the top of the foot down towards the floor. Your hip, it's a ball and socket joint, so you've got a good range of movement in there. We go swim through the sea. 25 more seconds left. Lengthen the legs, squeeze your butt together, press your hip bones into the mat, pull the abs away from the mat, and let those shoulders just relax. Let the shoulders pull away from your ears. Let them roll down away from your ears. Swim and swim. Now you're swimming through the sea. And now you've seen a shark. You've got to swim a little bit faster. We go kick, kick, kick. You've got five and four. Abs in three, two, one. Whew. Onto your back. We are going to stretch at the end, I promise. You're going to lower yourself down. Bring the hands around the side of your hip. Lift one leg into a tabletop position. Pull the abs down, now imprint the spine. I want an imprinted spine, Pilates style today. Now squeeze your inner thighs together, knees over the top of the hips, toes are in alignment with the knees. Imprinted spine, so if the floor was sand, when you got up, you'd be able to see every curve of your body. You'd be able to see where the spine was. I want that kind of engagement now. Stay there, inhale in. Squeeze the legs away for two, then squeeze it in and in we go. Push out, push out, squeeze it in and in. Now if this is a little bit too challenging for you, I completely understand. You can just go one leg for the modified version, but then go the opposite leg. Or you can always bring it into a smaller range of movement. So you're not really going out as far. But if you want that full advancement with me, the legs are gonna go in, going on a diagonal. The lower the legs go, the more intense it gets. But my choreography, it's not down here. I don't want any of that. That's a little bit too tough right now. We've not woken those abs up fully yet. I want your maximum input, means maximum output here. So follow my choreo. Out, we go in and in. Two more, go out. Out, pull the abs in, in, and in. One more, go out, out we go, in, in. Modification, stay here, hold stillness. If you want the challenge, shoot the legs out in front of yourself. You're gonna change the legs for one, for two, for three, bring it in, hold. Inhale, so we're gonna do that again. Exhale away. We go out with those legs. We go one, two, three, in, inhale. Exhale, we go out, go one, go two, go three, squeeze it in, inhale, exhale. We go out, one, two, three, squeeze it in, inhale, exhale. We go squeeze out, go one, go two, go three, squeeze it in, two more of those. We go out, go one, go two, Go three, squeeze it in. It's hard with the coordination, this. We go, squeeze it out. Go one, go two, go three, squeeze it in. Now hold that, inhale, exhale. Woo! So those bar moves as well, they really coincide with the music. It's like you're dancing through your workout. 
Now you're gonna go ahead, squeeze your legs out. Give me eight, seven, six, and print the spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Draw the knees and rock back. Rock it forwards. Feet in line with the hips. Bring the hands underneath your thighs, the lumbar spine, it presses. Down, 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 down. Scoop out those abdominals. Now do not worry about your stomach, what's going on. The more rolls, the better. So hold there. Now I want you to rotate your hip bones into your belly button. So if your hips had water in them, the water would be tipping out the front of your bowl into your belly button. Stay here for the modification. Advancement, one hand away. Further advancement, other hand away. Now turn the palms down. You're gonna to start to cross, cross, cross the hands. We go, change, change. So the heels are digging in towards the floor. You're pressing your lumbar spine down. Your eye line is forward in towards the horizon. Press, lumbar spine, one inch further down. Too tough. Listen to your body, bring that movement higher, or maybe bring one hand underneath the thigh and just switch one hand across. We go, switch, switch, switch. You've got six, and five, and four. You've got it, three, two, one. If you're with me in the advancement, the hands stay away. If you want a little breather, the hands come underneath the thighs, but keep really using those abdominals. Now you're gonna lift up one leg, Bring it down, flex the foot. Point the toe, lift the leg. You've got it now, flex. So we're going. Plant a flexion if you want to be scientific. Dorsiflexion, press the heel down. Now add resistance with the flow. Flex and squeeze. Point, squeeze, lift. Flex, push down. Point, squeeze, lift. You've got it, flex and squeeze. It's like you're pressing something really heavy into the floor. Push it down. We go, push something heavy to the ceiling. Flex, flex, push down. We have two more here. Push down to floor, one more. You're so nearly done with your class today. Well done. Flex and push now, hold there. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna go. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze, I know. Little push down, squeeze. Press down, squeeze modification. You're just here, hands under those thighs. Push down, squeeze. Three more, push and hold. Two more, push and hold. Last one, now drop and squeeze. I want you to shoot those hands up to the ceiling, turn the palms up. Now lift, 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 I know. If you want a breather, hands go back onto those thighs, but this is it, this is the end. Press your lumbar spine down. Don't let the body wobble. You're just isolating that movement into your hands. You've got 10 and nine and eight. You've got just the final seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, well done. You're gonna lower yourself all the way down towards the floor. Bring the feet out in front of yourself. And close the eyes. You made it, well done. Now don't switch me off if you're going to get up and walk away, don't. Let's stretch out the body, help to restore your body, gain flexibility and maintain flexibility. Give yourself a natural detox, get rid of all of those waste products you've just created. There's so many benefits to stretching. Draw the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a little rock side to side. And it's also great for the mind and body. I'm all about the mind and body. I suffer quite bad on and off with anxiety, so I find doing a class and stretching at the end really helps the mind, as does yoga. Give yourself a rock backwards. Give yourself a rock forwards. Fear in front of yourself. Lengthen through those knees. Now point through the toes. Inhalation, lift up the arms. Inhale at the top, exhale. Reach the hands forwards and down. Let the nose fall in towards your shins. Relax the body, find your own breath. Focus on nothing but just stretching here. Lift yourself up. You're gonna spin round towards me, but the legs, they go into these two bent positions, just like this. So the legs are swung off towards your left side. Now bring your right hand down to the floor. Take a side lean. Maybe take the gaze up towards the ceiling. Other side, bring the left hand down to the floor. Open through the chest, sweep the hand over. Inhale, exhale. 
lift the arm all the way up, legs go off towards your right side now. And then bring your left hand down to the floor, reach the arm over the top, inhale. this hand down towards the floor, sweep the other arm all the way over the top, inhale, exhale. You're going to come up on towards your knees and take two arm circles round and back, other way, forwards, mobilizing through the shoulders and then bring the hands in front of yourself, tuck the toes under and then just step the feet in, roll all the way up through the spine. Facing towards me, you're gonna bring your chin into your chest, roll down through the vertebrae, through the spine, and then let the hands slowly just dangle towards the floor. Inhale, exhale, find length behind the back of the legs. Don't worry about how far you can or cannot go, as long as you can feel the stretch down the back of the legs, you are doing it absolutely perfectly. And then take a bend through the knees, soften the knees, press the knee, press the hips even sorry down towards the floor. Slowly roll all the way up through the spine. Get a nice mobilizing sensation through your spinal column. And then you're gonna bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Bring the hand over the top of the head. It's hard because when I'm saying left and right, it's actually the opposite to what I'm doing. So sometimes it's a bit of a brain tease. And also look at the timer and thinking about the choreo. You're going to go other side, bringing your right ear towards your right shoulder. Hand goes on top of the head, squeezing it down, taking a neck extensor stretch. And then slowly bring the chin down to the chest, nose to the floor. Bringing the eye line back up. And well done in your 25 minute tailor toned bar workout. Let me know how much you loved that workout. Did you find the shake? Did you find the bird? What was your favorite move? Tell me down below. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you in a couple of days for another brand new workout. Bye everyone.